Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be cooking bull penis soup. Yes, dick soup. I'm going to be cooking bull penis. The other day, we had to go to the Asian market because I need to pick up some provisions, namely rice and some other staples in our pantry. And then I went to the meat department like I always do to look up some interesting bits and I found ox penis. Now, I'm pretty sure this is probably not ox penis in the sense that oxen aren't really raised as livestock here a lot in the US. So I think it's a kind of mistranslation. At any rate, this is bull penis or oxen penis. And I have seen it before when I went to H Mart, which is a Korean grocery store chain. And there it was labeled pizzle. So I've never eaten nor prepared bull penis before. So today I'm going to be making a soup. I got the recipe from a column by Chi Chi Wang on Serious Eats. She had this great bit called Nasty Bits and she tried all kinds of offals and kind of cast off bits in different recipes. And I love it because it's very descriptive and very earnest and she just really wants to know what these things taste like. So when I was looking up recipes, Chi Chi's column came up and in particular this recipe came up and this recipe was recommended to her by Fuchsia Dunlop who a great cookbook author. It's called Chong Ching Ox Penis Soup. Now she found it in a cookbook and there are no measurements but you kind of get a general idea of how to make it. So let's go ahead and get started making our bull penis soup. So if you follow me on Instagram you saw that I did indeed buy one package or one pound of bull penis. I came home and I rinsed them off and here is what it looks like. Now, a few of you on Facebook wondered if the package was just one penis. No, it wasn't. I believe these are four separate penises. I think. I mean, it is hard to tell because one end seems to be wider. So I believe this is probably the part that was connected more to the pelvis of the animal. And it does taper. But the end of the taper looks to be a pretty blunt cut. Although they all seem to be about the same length, I'd say about two feet, pretty narrow. Cattle ranchers do let me know what is the length of a bull's penis. I'm sure I could Google it, but I'd rather hear from you. Let me know. They're pretty long and very kind of tough feeling. I'm sure many of you are wondering, does this stink? Does it smell at all? Does it smell like urine? No, it doesn't. It doesn't smell at all, which is kind of surprising because inside here we have the urethra and that's where the fluid flows, right? Alrighty, so now we're gonna prepare our penises. Now those that have penises may wanna skip ahead at this part because it might get a little graphic for you. So what we're gonna do is remove this stretchy skin on the outside. That's very tough. And then we're going to slice down the middle and open it up and soak these for a half an hour in cold water. Okay, there we go. Wow, really tough. There's some skin. So just take your scissors and go down the length of the penis. We're going to cut all the way down so we can open it up and make sure that this track is nice and clean. Alrighty, so I'll be back after I tackle four of these. <laughs> and now we are ready to assemble our soup. Now in the original recipe, she says to simmer this soup on the stove top at a low simmer for 10 hours. I'm going to be using my handy dandy instant pot. This is an electric pressure cooker and this should shorten the time significantly. So this is certainly not the first time I've used my instant pot. I've made other unconventional recipes. I've made homemade wine. I've made instant, pretty much instant pho soup. I've also made homemade natto with it. So into the Instant Pot, we're going to add our four bull penises. Goodbye, friends. Boink. Next, I'm gonna add a bunch of fresh ginger. The recipe says an old hen, which I found very charming. I don't have an old hen, I just have a chicken that I bought from the store. So we're gonna add that in there as well. So like in any recipe where you're dealing with raw meat, it's important to always wash your hands so you can avoid cross-contamination. Next, we're gonna add some Shaoxing wine. Now this recipe did not have any recipe amounts, so I'm gonna kind of eyeball it. I'm gonna put in about a quarter cup. A few glugs of that. Next, I'm gonna add some Sichuan peppercorns, just about a half a teaspoon, and then water to cover. Close that up and we're gonna put it on seedling. 
So pressure cook, and then I'm going to do 45 minutes. We'll put on more. Alrighty, so in 45 minutes, we should have bowl penis soup. See you in a bit. So I am back to taste my bowl penis soup. Now, after 45 minutes, I did a quick release, and then I added some wolf berries, also known as goji berries. These are beautiful red fruits that are dried and often used in Chinese herbal soups. They add a nice little sweetness, and you can eat them raw as well. And they've got kind of a drier texture than, say, a raisin, but that same kind of natural fruity sweetness that comes with dried fruit. Delicious. We also want to remove the ginger and the Sichuan peppercorns. Okay, so let's serve this up. So the chicken has given up all the flavor. We're not gonna actually eat the chicken. This is all about the penis. <laughs> After 45 minutes of pressure cooking, here's what the penis looks like. Look at that texture. <laughs> Get another one out. <laughs> so there it is. We're just gonna cut this up into bite-sized pieces. And as you can see, it is very tender. Put some of them into my bowl. And top it with some broth. There we have it. Bull penis soup. Season this with a little bit of salt. We didn't add any salt to the broth at all, so it's gonna need it. Alrighty, here we go. Let's give our bull penis soup a taste. Let's try the broth first. The dakimas. Mmm, the soup is great. The soup tastes like a good chicken broth. Rich and chickeny. Got a little bit of that chicken fat on top. Delicious. Doesn't taste stinky. Doesn't taste porky or beefy. It tastes like chicken broth. Alrighty, now let's try a piece of penis. Hmm. That's not bad. If you've ever had pho with beef tendons, the texture is actually very, very similar. It just melts away. It's so tender and soft. It feels kind of fatty and gelatinous. It's great. I like it. In terms of flavor, it doesn't really have much flavor at all. It just tastes like chicken broth. What it's about is this texture. The texture is very gelatinous and kind of gooey, fatty and slippery, but just gelatinously tender. So, so tender. Mm-hmm. It's great. Bull penis is great. I like it. Mm hmm It does have a slight kind of gamey flavor to it. And when I say gamey, I don't mean like funky. I mean gamey kind of slightly livery, but very, very subtle. Now, let's have a couple of those goji berries there. Mm. Those are nice. Those add a little natural sweetness to everything. This actually makes for a great kind of wintertime soup. Mm -hmm. So besides salt, the recipe says you can also add a little bit of lard for extra added flavor. I think this is plenty rich for me. It's got a nice layer of chicken fat on top, and the texture of the bull penis is pretty fatty, so I don't think I'm going to be adding any lard to this because it feels pretty rich as it is. But if you make this, you might want to add a little bit of lard. Alrighty, so there you have it, Zhongjing Ox Penis Soup. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Let me know down in the comments if there are any recipes or things you'd like me to taste out and try. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>